You had Michael Jordan in your gym. Oh, when, that's right. You when, got the Michael Jordan shirt on. <laughs> I'm curious when they uh, came there, who was his trainer, what they were doing. As most professional athletes would have their own trainer that goes with them everywhere they go. And I'd never recognized, I'd never seen this guy before. And, you know, they didn't do any weights. They just basically did cardio. I got to tell you, when, when Michael Jordan came in, it was not that big a deal. I mean, he was famous, but not nearly as famous as he later became. I mean, but he came in probably in 1985, 86, which was, you know, he was on the rise, but he was not yet who he became later. Thank you very much, Doug, for uh, your always time. Fun. You know, always yeah, fun. it's always fun. You're a great host. You know the questions to ask. That's what's good. If you're not on the learning curve, you would not be able to put one leg on the student side and one leg on the teacher side, which you must do. You must straddle right. both sides and know the questions. Sometimes I can't think of the question, but, but you can think of it better than I can.